All right, so this video is going to demonstrate one method of determining a major key if given the key signature, as well as the reverse, which is determining the sharps and flats of a key signature if given the major key. All right, so let's first look at how to determine the major key if given the key signature. So our first example will be a major key signature with three sharps. So we are being asked to determine what major key has three sharps. So this method involves taking the last sharp in the key signature. So in this case, that would be a G sharp. And going up one semitone. So we go up one semitone from our G sharp, and that is our major key. So the key for this key signature is a major. Uh, let's do another example in the bass clef. So this example is going to have six sharps. Again, we take the last sharp in the key signature. This time it is an E sharp. Now we find that on our keyboard. So in this case we have E, E sharp would be the same as an F. So here's our E sharp. We go up one semitone from our last sharp. And that takes us to our key, which would be F sharp major. So it is important to also note that when we go up one semitone, we are also going up one note name. So this is going to be F sharp major and not G flat major. We go up one semitone and one note name to determine. Alright, so let's do the reverse now. Let's say we've been given the key signature of, or the key of B major and we're being asked to determine how many sharps and flats are in the key signature. So first thing we have to know is are we going to be dealing with sharps or flats? So here are a list of all the major keys we have down the left our sharp keys and down the right our flat keys. So how are we going to remember which ones are which? Well, we have two major exceptions. The first exception is C major. Now C major has no sharps or flats. That's something you're just going to have to memorize using this method. Our second exception is F major. Now F major has one flat. Again, something you'll have to memorize if you're going to use this method. Now other than that, all of our flat keys will have a flat in the name of the key. B e flat major, E flat major, A flat, D flat, etc. If it doesn't have a flat in the name of the key, or if it's not F or C, it will be a sharp key. So if we are given B major and we're asked to figure out the key signature, we know we will be dealing with a sharp key. So we will be using our sharp rule except going the opposite direction. So if we were given uh, B major, we would have to go down a semitone and one note name to find the last sharp in the key signature. Just the opposite of when we were taking the last sharp and going up a semitone to figure out the key. If we're given the key, we have to go down a semitone to get the last sharp. So, if we know the last sharp, then we'll be, in this example, an A sharp. If we look back at our 
order of sharps and flats. So here's father, Charles goes down and ends battle. Uh, if you're not sure about the order, uh, you'll have to check out one of the previous videos. But for now, this is the order of sharps and flats. So we find out our last sharp. The last sharp is A sharp. So that means we will have, in this case, five sharps. F, C, G, D, and A. Because A is, in this case, our last sharp here. So all the ones down to A will apply. So writing the key signature for B major would be Father Charles goes down and. So the, the method of figuring this out again is the reverse, right? Just instead of taking the last sharp, which is A sharp, and going up semitone to B for B major, we're given B major. We go down a semitone to our last sharp. Uh, and we figure out what sharps then will be in the key signature. So let's do one more example. Uh, we are given here D major. So is D major sharp or flat key? Well, it doesn't have a flat in it. It's not an F or C, so we know it's going to be sharp key. So if D major is a sharp key, we use our sharp rule, which is the one we're going over right now. So we have D major here, and we go down a semitone to find out our last sharp, down one semitone and one note name. So C sharp will be our last sharp here. So if C sharp is our last sharp for this example, that means we're going to have two sharps, F and C. So Father Charles is our key signature for D major. So that is the trick for figuring out sharps uh, in both directions, whether given the key and figuring out the key signature or whether being given the key signature and figuring out the key. So that's one method for sharps. Uh, let's look at this method now for flats. Okay, so if given a key signature for a flat key, we, oh, let's write one down here. Here is an example with two flats. When given a flat key, and if it's not F, right, we just know that F is going to have one flat, C is not going to have any. So we take the second last flat in the key signature. So in that case, the second last flat is this one, which is a B flat. And that is the name of our key, B flat major. So nice simple rule. Let's take a look at another example. Um, here we have a key signature with seven flats. We're being asked to name the major key. We take the second last flat. In this case, it is a C flat. And that is the name of our major key, C flat major. OK, so let's go in the other direction now. We've been given the key signature, or the key of A flat major. And we're being asked to write the key signature. So we need to determine whether it's a flat or a sharp key. Well, it's got a flat in it, so we know it's going to be a flat key. So we're going to use this rule, but go in reverse this time. So if last time we were taking the second last flat, that means that if the key is A flat major, A flat will be the second last flat in the key signature. So we can go over to our order of flats, and if A flat here is the second last uh, one in the key signature, we just go down one, and that will be, or if, sorry, if A, yeah, A flat will be the second last flat in the key signature, therefore D flat will be the set, will be the last flat in this key signature. So in this case, A flat major will have four flats. Battle ends and down. Again, in this case, we look and there's A flat as our second last flat. So one more example here, uh, D flat major. 
So D flat will be our second last flat. We find the D. There's our second last flat then. If we have to add one to figure out where our last flat is, that means G flat will be our last flat in D flat major. So we can write out that key signature of battle and and down goes. Nope, that was a poorly written D flat. Um, battle ends and down goes. So in this case, second last flat being D flat. So when given the key, you have to add one flat and that will be your last flat. And then you can write in the key signature. So here is the one method for figuring out key signatures as well as naming major keys.